Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we are continuing to attack and destroy the Dutch in Northern Italy and we are forced to attack to fight this battle manually because otherwise it would cause me a lot of damage um, amongst my reinforcing armies, which I don't want to be damaged because I want them to push forward. Let's attack Ernst Bernstra and destroy his small force on the slopes near Milan. But we're doing quite well. We've managed, well, we, I think, I'm, I'm fairly confident that the northern Italian push has been resolved. I am inclined to maintain sieging Amsterdam itself and prepare for any potential uh, attacks from Prussia to the east rather than attacking it myself. Because attacking, attacking late game fortresses with no quick climb can be quite difficult and dangerous. But I'm not in a position where I can accept difficult and dangerous at the minute. I need I need to pick my battles. Especially if I don't want to lose relative strength against Prussia. So we're going to be just pushing up. We're not really going to be using our artillery because the enemy's strength is so poor. My cavalry pushing on to the rear. You see, trap shots already doing some work against us. Some of these units are going to push around the rear. Enemy is suicide charging into our lines. Not even going to form square. So you guys need to push the enemy position. Everyone's going to advance. But we are trying to trying to do much, we just want to envelop them. The enemy are welcome to charge if they like. I suppose I could have deployed my artillery. Bombard them on the hill. Right about face, make ready and fire. Even if it's just at the artillery, because that's still still doing something. They're still attacking us. Yeah, the first light horse. I think they're trying to get one over on us. We're not far off of getting our surround on. Camels will take care of the first light horse. You men push up. 
Bring him in about face. About face. There we go. Now where can they flee? Yeah, the light horse should feel a bit confident, but uh, not excessively confident. So the line of the guards, they're looking to charge. Everyone else, though, is looking a bit sad. I mean, even the, the engineers at this point, it's just not enough for them. They just can't kill enough of my guys. Deploy the pikes. Oh no, they got shot. Reform your troops. There we go. Oh, the only direction they can run to uh, escape is out the back. Okay, you men run over here. We're going to pursue and destroy the 75th. Oh yeah, I forgot this is my bug general's bodyguard unit. Thought, wait a minute, that's a lot of elephants. Good, you took care of them. Now you can take care of the militia. They're trying to route through your position. Yeah, we're going to continue, absolutely. As it stands, all they're going to do is just run around and get shot to death and run into... Like, there's nowhere for them to run. And you guys are all going to die if you try route through there. This is, this is just beautiful. I know they might try and run, but they're going to get hit this unit and all die to them. Hey, get back here. Hey, they're the last unit alive. There you go. Sometimes when you right click, they stop to turn around and fight. Sorry about that. I had a delivery. Right, so. That fort is destroyed. You men replenish. So you men push up. Same with you. You men cover the crossing. Now you men, actually, can I just nudge him just a little bit further forward? Your Excellent. Majesty. Large formation of Dutch troops, but most of them are depleted apart from this one army here. They got some good condition troops, but uh, don't think it'll be enough. And that'll be the bulk of the troops around Milan destroyed. We're squeezing them slowly westward, where we have troops waiting. <laughs> troops waiting to uh, <laughs> to catch them and destroy them once they are even more vulnerable. Come on, then. Let's get cracking. Again, like the Bavaria campaign, <clears throat> you reach a point where you are just... There is no clever strategy there are no fancy plans you have you just deploy your armies and smash straight into the other guy and win that's all you do and that's where we're at right now interesting kind of bad because usually this means there's when you're attacking well personally 
when you're attacking a... When you attack someone and you're floating on a bridge, it generally means enemy reinforcements are, are on your side of the river as well. I've been screwed over too many times by that kind of thing. So... Deploy semi-conservatively. I want a unit of Hindu musketeers to cover this bridge. You as well. Got a bit of spacing. You guys deploy together. And let's see. job is shrapnel shot over the strait. Everyone else oh they have obliterated my they've obliterated my cavalry but they're rockets or they're here is there something alright Quick climbing howitzers is probably what it was. In which case then, you men cross the river. Dervishes to charge the provincial cav. Indian musketeers form the square. Spread out. Okay, now you guys are more ex not not quite so exposed. The artillery just keep hammering them home. So you form square between the square and the dervishes. It's not heavy cavalry, and they're charging in their general. I think we're going to be okay. And your shrapnel shotting enemy formations that are going to respond to us. The artillery is going to continue to bombard here. We took out one artillery piece. You men probably want to focus on howitzers. Just one cavalry unit routing. Let's see what happens to the other one. Push up with cover. Well, this is going to be the curious moment to see where the enemy reinforcements come in from. So we need to push forward to counter their guns. You might want one of you to begin to also start attacking the concentration of enemy units here. Okay, the reinforcements coming in from behind them. Across the river. You men may pivot like so, get the Gurkhas ready. Former rely on blanking artillery fire to provide support. The dervishes alone should annihilate the general's bodyguard. Okay, here they come. 
commit the dervishes. Commit the Gurkhas rather. Commit the dervishes. Commit these swordsmen. You men cross the river. Hold the square, Hindu musketeers. The Gurkhas are cutting their way through the militia. One unit attack the Swiss Grenadiers. You men attack ground with shrapnel here. Yeah, you go. You're flaying the combat from their side. Okay, that's not ideal. Uh, artillery, ground shot, attack. All of you annihilate the Swiss Grenadiers. You men stay for the square. Gurkhas come in on the flank of this action. Hindu Musketeers get forward. Kuzobashi, Hindu Musketeers, Royal Indian Infantry Guards. Push up, dervishes. Push up. Hindu musketeers have formed up again. Excellent. So the enemy. We. Okay, right. Ideally. We're starting to see some breaking in the centre. That's not ideal. Although it's also. Involves enemy enemy units breaking. It's not a terrible outcome. Okay, all this artillery back here. Can't attack way at the back. Hold fire. Well, no, don't hold fire. Engage the light in front. Actually, no, don't do that. East fire, Hindu musketeers. Push up, my Sipahi, go for the light infantry. We've dealt with the enemy artillery. sure we think about this. All my artillery needs to limber up and cross the river. Naturally elephants can't do can't do anything. They are literally stuck. Comes the enemy cavalry. All that. Okay, good. The army. Okay, right. They are slowly pathfinding their way over. Sipahi, go after the general's bodyguard. Okay, dragoons form a square. Here we are, coming. This is the, that's really not what we wanted to see. So my artillery is going to have to attempt to cross the river. Good 
charging. You stay in square. Bold, you guys back around behind this line. Still can't give orders to either of these elephant units. Ah, except for attack. So going to make it across. Into the bugged unit of elephants as well. Provincial cannon just charged straight into my Gurkhas. That's a bad idea for them. Engage the Hussars. Let's get the dervishes to redeploy against the light foot. Artillery over the river. That's the ideal outcome. Well, not, not even ideal outcome. That's what has to happen. So you might have any reinforcements coming in from the right. See, that would be not ideal. need to fall back to the to our more protected areas somewhere where the guns can actually help. The elephants are only tangentially useful for now until we make them thread the needle through the through the uh, defences. You can do it, you just... Well, now you're going to be taken out. If I make you guys withdraw, will you just turn around and leave, or will you... Screw me. Because what we want is... More traditional... Defensive line. Because that's quite a significant deployment of Dutch troops. So dervishes and Islamic swordsmen deploy behind the line. I mean, these new musketeers can just go.
I mean, I don't really want them to route, but I don't want them clogging up my bridge. So, in fact, you guys trying to cross it would be the worst thing to do. to have two units in here. You might have to focus on the counter-battery fight first. just to try and get some level of parity. And you're going to keep trying to engage them over there. See that we're out of quick claim range, which is very useful to know. Get those Sapahi to pull back. Focus on them. Focus on one battery at a time. The more artillery we get, they're going to go, they're going to deploy here and just fire at the the end of the enemy line. They need to be firing around shot and engaging six pounder light horse because they're just going to keep dropping shots on us. That's one enemy gun unit destroyed or at least propelled. Pull my elephants back to this side of the river. Otherwise, they're just going to get isolated and destroyed on that side. You see, these guns can't fire a uh, shrapnel shot, which is a bit of a bummer, but got to do what you got to do. It's a lot of enemy artillery. I may have to get them all focusing on one battery at a time. Mast fire with one target might be the only way we've got. To deal with things. Cavalry charge? We can hear. Quite a vulnerable toehold we have here. It may very well prove to be untenable. to run. Another unit of guns. Probably not what we need right now, but take it. And you're both attacking unit. This last unit's a bit of a wild card. Are you also attacking that unit? I may get you back onto 
heavy horse howitzer onto there, that's a good target. But at least with these guns I can start to pick off some of the line here. Blue Guard, Swiss Infantry. Just keep picking at their count. Just keep picking off their guns. They're slowly chipping away at us. See, so you guys have gone. When you went across this way, you went. Now you want to cross back, you're going to go... Excellent, another gun destroyed. Provincial Cavalry wants a piece. So you're going to engage the Swiss Pikes. Just uh, we're just doing exactly the same thing to them as they do they're doing to us. She might focus on the marines. You're gonna yeah, you might push up a little bit closer. See if we can win this artillery duel. You think you just killed? Oh, you've got no. Oh, excellent. Trap will shot the provincial cavalry because they're coming at us. They're coming out after one of our gun teams. and be ready to engage the 6th Regiment of Horse. Didn't kill a single person with that cavalry charge. So don't even bother. Carry on attacking the targets to the rear. We've got Gurkhas. You men cease fire. You might have to now engage units on the field, because they're coming. Oh lord, they're coming. You men halt and limber. Boy, my line. You might actually start firing canister shot because it always feels like canister shots better at short distances. So these guns are going to help, but they're not going to fix the problem. War reinforcements coming in from over here. Oh, quick. Oh, God, no way. Back, back, back. Heavy horse howitzers are actually on the move. Retarget. Actually, my shrapnel shot because he misses might hit the units behind. Heavy horse howitzer down. Or retreating.
now they're coming. The canister shot, it always feels like it's faster and a bit more dependable. We don't have the firepower to chase them off. I think we may end up wanting to pull back to the other side of the river. Dealing with that, no sir. It looks like the rot is starting to set in, so let's try. Okay, let's try and man, let's try and carefully pull back. Some of these units will have to continue fighting, but these Sipahi. These guys are firing quick flame at us. Hope we can draw off their cuirassier. Get back over here. The end is upon us. Throw in our troops. Some of our guns are going down. I thought it was a bit dangerous to stay on the other side of the line, but I thought it might be a bit more interesting if I did. Is Obashi hold? Indie Warriors hold! Let's keep coming. Keep moving, your Hindu warriors are buying you time. Everyone is buying you time. That is that artillery got caught by the Jaeger, that's fair enough. No, oh, my Gurkhas are back. Former. Although, probably just want them to uh, run away. Just keep holding them off for now. Get after their other artillery with my Sepahi. There's my Gurkhas for. Oh, okay, good. Put the Jaeger, we're going to pursue my other artillery, but they've decided they aren't. One thing I don't need is any more elephants. To be honest, this... Where's the... Oh no, it's because they're not weak. That unit's just artificially strong. And we're ready to defend against a crossing. men are valiantly holding out against possible odds to buy us time to get our guns back across the river. All I need is more musket troops. Let's 
Lyria alone will not keep them from crossing the river. Engage the blue guard. Plenty of native troops. <clears throat> what I need is my guns to spin around, unlimber, lancers. That's quite good. They're nice and mobile. Two men advance up. Trap was shot. Sipahi going down. Two men are going to have to engage the Jaeger. They've got they've got longer range than us, so there we go. That's cutting them down somewhat. The further they cross, the more they're going to get within range of our general's bodyguard units. The Sipahi's still holding on valiantly, and they're actually drawing uh, musket fire and shrapnel fire from the six pounders. Yeah, they're trying to cross the cross the, the river against us, and that's just as bad of a decision as it was for us to do it to them. Go on, General's bodyguard. Get your muskets ready and fire. These war elephants are going to withdraw. This artillery is going to withdraw. No, don't withdraw that way. Run over here and withdraw. Blue guard, you may engage. That unit of blue guard. Oh, I don't need musket. I don't need melee troops. I've got plenty of those. Okay, let's limber up some of these guns. If all, of, if all I can get is melee troops, I'll take it, but I don't want them. <laughs> yeah, let's limber up these guns and move them closer to the battle area. I don't need more elephants. Actually, I might put my native lancers over on the bridge so they can range them and my Sipahi. Get over here and cross the bridge. Guns push up. Keep blasting them. I think they're out there effectively out of buff as well. Switch the shrapnel shot and focus on the pikemen. Because you men in canister shot. Gonna be more than enough to deal with these pikemen. Now uh, you've opened up on them. Yeah, they're out of the picture. Engage the pikemen. Swiss infantry. They're probably doing a good job, but they're not uh, they're not enough.
Switch the guns to round shot, engage. Heavy horse guard artillery over here in the distance. The guns can effectively deploy as one battery. Militia, Holland Guard, Garrison Guards. I mean, you're doing good, but we've got to a more concentrated target to aim at. Knock these guys off their feet, and if someone decided, oh, that was, even though the, the artillery is not just flying, whew, not enough. Limber. You just have to keep pounding them. You're overshooting, undershooting. You're not actually hitting, even though it's quite a nice square target. A tune of guns. Pick off their Holland Guard. The crossing is secure enough. These are meant to be elite gunners as well. 24 pound a foot artillery. You keep clearing out the Holland Guard. Eventually we're going to have the strength to... Uh, Push back across all the effectively we do already. Let's do it. We're going back over the river. Bring these guys down, keep our artillery engaging over here. A limber. Don't kill the limbers, please. Get out of the way. Consistent hits. Yeah, it's causing casualties, but we got across. Come on, the generals can focus on over here. Camels are close enough. Was already here. Oh, so killing us. Indian warriors push up with some dervishes. Musketeers surround the flank of that enemy position here. Artillery pivot to engage the, the, the edge. Oh, they killed an artillery team and some white elephants at the last minute. Actually, no, you guys. 
need to engage the Grenadier Guards. Because this main action here will be defeated in detail by our gunners and other factions. towards them. Force grenade air guards, let's get our melee infantry in there to protect our general. Get back over to these guns and get them engaging the horse artillery. Pahi engage the guerrilla mercenaries. If necessary they will engage the militia afterwards. Kizobashi, don't waver. You're, you're very tired, I suppose. Just like you. Ugh, oh, dear idea. Charge! Hindu warriors engage the horse artillery. You men engage the line. Push the native warrior auxiliary up the flank with the Islamic swordsmen right into the enemy's faces. See, the infantry came back, just like you guys will probably come back. Oh no you don't. So Patty almost ran straight into a cavalry defence. over here. Force Grenadier Guards. Bring over everyone else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll take them out. Who's that? Regiment of Militia. The you men fall onto the Garrison Guard because they're trapped. Hindu, Kizobashi, Kizobashi, Kizobashi. Form up a rough line against the militia. No, no. Everyone carefully zigzag their way out of that mess. Enemy rounds back there. The garrison guards are stuck against the riverbank. Surrounded by Islamic swordsmen and native warriors. There you are in northern Italy, and suddenly here comes some former Cherokee at you. Have at them! of routed we are going to chase them down with our foot infantry but we're not going to make a policy out of continuing this action because god I'm, i've got a bit of fatigue going on no oh, pardon me Pyrrhic victory well not quite one of our armies got quite badly chewed up not we're still alive nice so now in Milan, the garrison is exposed, so you men sit on the bridge. You men replenish. You men replenish and demand the surrender of the town. Excellent. Got good roads. Don't attack in case it draws in this army. 
I mean, at some point, well, it depends. I want to see what happens next turn, really, with them. See whether or not it's worth counterattacking. So you still not landed there. Okay, right. Got our raiding Jevex. Thessaloniki. You blockade Piraeus. They've got no ports on the northern coast here. What have we got? It was it a proper navy, a reasonable navy, not a proper navy. They still can't break out of the Adriatic, though, so that's still something. Let's. I might send this fleet just to break the dry dock. Oh, I can't. They've got troops in it and ships. You men are going to hold. Yeah, we're swarming Amsterdam. We're going to keep sieging them. I want to see what they do. But I need to keep recruiting troops. 68,000. That's really not a lot. A turn. Fight a war like this. Cassetta. Yeah, you're going down. Okay. I may have to uh, up my tax bill because now we don't really need we need we need the money more we need the money now more than we need the improved growth. Everyone's carrying on wandering to the next armies being recruited. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. Of course, Britain's the the boiling sore on the on the uh, in the back of my mind. Uh, do I want to intercept them over a bridge? Yes, I absolutely do. I want you to cross my bridge, fools. That's exactly the kind of action I was I was hoping to get. If it was a full army, that might be a bit trickier, but then again, they don't have the mass to create a full army. And if they did, and it marched westward, I would be able to kill or destroy the Dutch Empire faster than they could probably get to Paris or Madrid. So even if they did break through, it would still be okay. One gun, some troops, two units, oh, actually two interesting actually, so they may come from, they may try and cross in two directions. Or oh, we're about to get screwed over by, although I was about to say screwed over by uh, Reinforcements coming in from our side of the river, but even if they did, that's still not really a problem. So, Sereli, Kazubashi, Kazubashi, African Light Mercenaries. like we aren't going to really need that much support here let's just bring you guys back over to this side okay, my guns are engaging their guns and limber You are going to successfully charge because that Israeli unit got bogged down. Unless the Kizabashi just gun you down. Down to 13 men. Form square.
Just, get, just keep shrapneling the center. Hey, they are sending an eight unit around here. Let's maybe keep one more unit here. It's quite a large dragoon unit too. Limber, shrapnel sharp. There we go, full up. So the African mercenaries will be able to fire against units that try to charge this Dakil. Dakili. Yeah, they fired a volley. Engage the dragoons. Shrapnel shots done. That's a good hole blown in them. Two more sets. Oh, glorious. Oh, sorry, Dragoons. Oh, and they're shattered. Come on, crossing mess. Poor old 6th Regiment, of course. That's them shattered as well. <laughs> Take that, Dutch Empire. These pe these were people who were previously the an incredibly dangerous threat. But from a series of strategic errors from the Dutch, that is no longer the case. This Dutch general has decided the end of his empire is upon him. He will die a hail of metal and blood rather than submit to our rule. Get him with a shrapnel shot. Musket fire has been inconclusive. <laughs> Crap, we've got him, all right. So here comes the enemy, actual enemy crossing. But I'm afraid these are just more Dutch people being thrown into the meat grinder. Oh, there's the general. Oh, no, that's not him. He's already dead. What about this general's bodyguard? Have you got a general? There he is. He thinks it's worth doing. Shrapnel shot him down. Oh, you missed him. Glorious. Oh, close. Reload. Make it to the actual combat. No, they have all they have elected to not stick around. Engage the Grand Air Guards. They've all decided not to cross. These horse Grand Air Guards have lost ten guardsmen. See if they make it. I don't think they will. No. If they decided that was a bad idea. Oh, Unsurprisingly, this is going very well. Be... Apparently, it's not difficult to fight enemies that don't really, that can't really defend themselves. These guys can't destroy one artillery team. So line of guards, militia conscripts, militia, militia. Oh, poor devils. 
fired your volley, you've satisfied honour, you don't need to do any more than that. Just turn around and go home. My militia will be the African Light Infantry will be firing. Oh, the general's. Oh, God, he's so lucky. Just watch two of his staff just get blown off their horses. Okay, there we go. So now it's all of you against the fifth. Fifth Regiment of Royal Horse Artillery, and they're one gun. You've got six. Well, you would have six, but some of them are deciding not to fire. Because you fire it well, then fire it well again. Just to see if. It's so curious how the. They decides that uh, oh they lost them. they've lost all their guns okay Sipahika they get over here artillery stop what you're doing they've lost all their guns and they're still kind of like well I don't know we could stick around they've stopped firing you do hear that <laughs> Kill them all. Well, let's continue. They're about to rout, and all we have to do is kill this. Kill that um, gunner, and then the game will be over. Blip. Yep, so that's a couple of Dutch fragments. A uh, nice to take out. Yep, yeah, they don't really have many options. Okay, right, here comes Prussia. Here comes Prussia. Yes, that's what I want. I want you to pull armies away from the areas I want to attack you. That would be most sporting if you would do that. But I'm fairly sure, aren't you also at war with Russia? Uh, yeah, you can take up my sloops. You're going to raid my ports? Opportunity to intercept. They're trying to sail out. We definitely do want to intercept because we want to, to be honest, maybe even just destroy the fleet. Because um, once we've got this guy in the port, this facility won't be able to recruit anything forever. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's actually... Actually, maybe frigate war galleon heavy first, third, second, 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 third, third, third. Eee, maybe not quite the fleet I want. To, no, I don't actually think I want to attack them with that fleet. I may want to attack them with another. I need to get more ships into the Adriatic. But I'm fairly sure Prussia and Russia are at war. I will remember that. That's because they... Yes, yeah, because Prussia attacked Georgia. Yes, I remember now. So Prussia has to decide what fronts they want to protect and what ones they do not. Yep, and Russia's redeploying a lot of troops to fight Prussia. That's another full army that's been reconstituted. And they're probably just going <laughs> to... Yeah, they are just going to uh, ship them westward. But yeah, I didn't want that Prussian fleet to get away, but I don't think the fleet I sent against it was the, was the right one. I'm sure if it was you guys playing, you guys would have done a great job. Uh, but I'm just not super great at the Navy side, and I, 
I was verging on parity, maybe slightly negative. What? No. I'm not going to help. No. You don't get to do this and call me into silly war, silly battles. No, 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 no. Sorry, Georgia. You do not get to do that. You don't just get to throw yourselves in difficult situations and expect my sword to bail you out. Not going to happen. Workers on strike in Cherokee territory. Not anymore. Let's build a madrasa. Upgrade you. Fleet destroyed. Fleet destroyed. Those are just sloops. Okay, let's sail. Because you're not at war with Britain, so you're not going to get caught out by anything. Deploy the brigs. Or relocate the brigs. So now your army deploys up front. Then we've got another fleet drives. Although these are Jebex, which are meant to be for raiding. So let's get them into the med. I oh, know we can't because we're blocking it. So firstly, create space. Get the Jebex in the med because right now they're not in the best place to start. Uh, not the best place to keep to do much raiding. You guys need to be destroyed. But you will do that once the once another fleet is rebuilt. Is, is built, not rebuilt. Just destroy them. We lost one ship. Oh, that's one of you guys. Okay, it's fine. It's full of the line. Fine. That's okay. Right. I'm happy to fight for you, Georgia. Just don't do it in such damn silly circumstances. So all of you just need to keep replenishing because we don't know whenever. We don't know. We might get hit by a large Prussian army. At any time. Yeah, I think so. Originally, the plan was to not deploy these into Italy and instead <clears throat> to uh, use them for another invasion. Oh, no, 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 no. But actually, I'm, I am going to deploy them. I am going to deploy them into Italy. Because we need backup. So that's the fleet I want to face off against the large Russian fleet. So you're waiting for recruitment. Or did we already get it? We did already get it. Because so it was the Kurdish Hillman with particularly what I observed we were short of, because we only had the one. Although I don't think we'd have wanted a fifth artillery piece. Let's recruit Kizobashi. Keep on. Recruiting. But yeah, so now you can raid the groves, get into Heracleon. So now that's done for. You can sail into the Adriatic. And then Amal Gira going to attack Dietfried Seidel. Heavy frigate, war galleons. Heavy first rate, third, second, 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 third, and 
some bits and bobs. And then we've got our battle fleet with one Jebek, which is not going to help us. I'm going to make them run away immediately. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.